Hi everybody, this is Momo. Did you guys miss me? I know you guys did. Um, I got a lot of sweet messages. Thank you guys so much for wishing me get well. Um, I'm still a little bit sick, but I feel much better. Um, I promise you guys this video, I know it's going to go in really late. I just had some uh, something to do right after work, uh, but at least it's up because I know I promised you guys a video. So I want to start by showing you guys this card that my husband made for me as a get well card. And he's getting so much better. He actually got the mats perfectly proportioned. And he even put a flower with a bling. And he used the border punch and the Cricut. This is from Creator Critter. So I'm so proud of him. And it came out so beautiful. I'm, I'm so grateful for my husband. He's really awesome. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Because I thought it was a really sweet get well card um, that he made for me. So that's that. And then today what I'm going to be making is um, Yoli Bean, uh, I know a lot of you guys follow her, she made like a little mistake while she was doing a card the other day and um, it actually, she turned it into like a gift card holder and I just fell in love with it because I'm always looking for gift card holders to make because um, I think those are the best things for birthdays for every occasion. I think it's just awesome. So I'm going to be making one today for you guys. Um, and if you want to see the full tutorial, I'm going to put her link for YouTube on here so you guys can watch it. She goes in slow motion on how to do it. I'm just going to kind of run through it as quickly as possible. So what you're going to do is you're going to start with an 8.5 by 11 sheet of cardstock. And then on the 8.5 side, you're going to trim it down to 7 and a quarter. So you're going to end up with a little strip. And then what you're going to do, and I'm going to do it with my scoreboard because I tried scoring it on my blade um, on my cutting thing and it just it wouldn't align right so I'm gonna do it here and on the eight and a half side you're gonna go ahead and score it at four and a quarter so it's here right oh here I'm so a little off so it's scored at four and a quarter and then <clears throat> on your 11 inch side you're gonna score it at five and a half. And then what we're gonna go ahead and do is, we're gonna get our trimmer again. And then on this score line that you made at four and a quarter, you're gonna, you're gonna cut it to the five and a half inch, um, to the five and a half score mark. So we're just gonna trim that one side. And then, you're gonna end up with this. And then what we're gonna do, I'm gonna get my other bone folder, and then when you have it like this, you're gonna fold this part back, okay, and then this part forward. Okay, so this part forward and then this part to the side like this. So this is what you end up with. You end up with a little flap here, and you end up with your actual flap here. So um, so that's what you, you end up with, and this is gonna be super cute. I know you guys are gonna love it. For whoever hasn't seen it, um, you guys are gonna love it. Okay, then your next step, which I've already gone ahead and done, is all your layers. Now, the layer that's gonna go here at the top is this layer here and I'm using all scraps so I just went through all my scraps so you're gonna see a bunch of colors and different things and stuff like that because um, I'm trying to get through my stash of my scraps um, this is cut out at five and five by two and three quarters and um, I just wrote it on the back just to remember okay and we're just gonna go ahead and adhere that to the top layer here perfect and then I found two strips of paper and it doesn't matter what width they are as long as they can go underneath here and when you cover it up all you see is this part so I have two strips as long as they're um, I did it at six inches because you guys know I like to do my um, borders a little longer and I'm just gonna get my um, my scallop circle punch and punch through this 
And I'm going to be having another Q&A session. So on this video on YouTube, um, just go ahead and leave me any questions that you want me to answer. And I'm, I'm going to do it tomorrow night because I wanted to. I had posted it on my blog yesterday, but I wanted to give the YouTube um, followers a chance to put in their questions. So just leave it on this post. So we have both of our layers. And then what we're going to do is um, the other good thing about making it a little longer is that you can align it perfectly, which is what I want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and run some ATG on the back of this. And I'm going to try to align it the best I can. Perfect. And then I'm going to run some ATG on the back of this. And I'm going to put it right here at the bottom. And we're going to go ahead and trim off the, the sides. So that's what we end up with. And then what we're going to do is on this little flap here, you're going to go ahead and run some ATG. Make sure you do it on all four corners so it gives you a nice clean seal. And we're just going to close it up. So what you end up with is your top flap. And then you end up with your bottom flap. Okay, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, I'm going to show you first what I cut out because I want to position it. I cut this um, little balloon in Just For You, and this is from the Creator Critter cartridge, of course. Surprise, surprise, right? And I'm actually not going to have space to run a ribbon. So, because this is going to be up here. Actually... I might have, yeah, I'm going to run the ribbon because um, I love ribbon. I can't stand it. <laughs> I'm just going to get my X-Acto knife and I'm going to run just like a little hole here. Um, okay, so here we go. So then what we're going to do is we still have this little flap here. And we're just going to get a gift card and we're going to put it right here. And I'm going to use some sticky strip because I found, um, obviously from trial and error, that this is the only thing that will hold once you put your um, gift card in. Or I know that jo Yoli Bean used something else, but ATG tape will not hold. Just uh, BTW for you guys. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and frame the gift card. Okay, and then we're going to go ahead and just peel this off. And we're going to go ahead and close this up. Actually, before you close it up, I'm just using a one inch um, a hole punch. And I'm going to go about um, halfway in, or a little less than half. And I'm going to punch out the end of it. And then we're going to go ahead and seal it up okay so here we go and then what we're gonna do is I have my pieces that I cut out from my Cricut and this blue piece um, I was actually planning to run through my Zyron but it's too small so I'm gonna run this purple piece <laughs> through so we ran it through and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some glitter on it. Okay, so I put some glitter on it and then I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on the back. And then I'm going to go ahead and get some pop dots. Okay, so we got our pop dots on the back, and we're just going to go ahead and adhere this down. And I want to put some buttons here. So here's our um, little gift card holder. So you put your gift card in through here. And then you have um, the inside that you can write. And I also made, oops, I had something fall. 
I also made another one um, using the little owl, and I put who, 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 who loves you. And it's also um, a little gift card holder. See? Aren't these just adorable? I'm so excited, guys. Um, thank you so much, Yoli Bean. You're freaking awesome. So um, if you guys have any questions for my Q&A tomorrow, leave them on this post. And um, I'm sorry I've been gone for a while. I know this isn't my best card, um, but I'm just still a little iffy. So um, I hope you guys will forgive me. And uh, hugs and kisses to all of you. And stay tuned for the next one. Bye, guys.